everyone! I delayed the editing on this video for quite some time, but I'm finally posting it, like, two weeks later. Eight years ago, Julian too recorded himself trading from a necklace to a rare spike in one day. Many people have tried to replicate this video, and some have even said they were doing the necklace to spike challenge as a way to get items from people, but most forgot the original reason Julian made the video, which was to spread awareness about scamming and to show that you do not need to scam in order to become rare. I somehow managed to go from a necklace to a rare spike in just a few hours, and for the most part, I avoided telling anyone I was doing a challenge. After the video, I will be doing a small story time of my own experience being scammed. As a new jammer on a spare account, I got buddied by an arctic wolf. I asked her if she wanted to trade with me, but said that I only had a necklace. She then told me she'd be right back, left, and returned with some winter clothes from the hot cocoa hut. To ensure that I had no unfair advantages, I deleted all my default den items. I traded all my winter items for a lucky chair, which isn't much, but it's not like anyone really wanted store items. Someone was nice enough to trade me a bunch of rare item Mondays for the lucky chair, which helped a lot long term. The seal I think saw that I was new and wanted to help me with the Belouche Journey book, and I left it in the video because it was a sweet interaction, but I also explained that I was only doing a trading challenge and wasn't trying to fill my journey book. I love that this person was willing to help out new players though. For a while, people were trying to swap rare item Mondays with me, and I kept trying to get them to add to their trades. Eventually, a fox traded a rare bow and arrow for one of the rare item Mondays, which was too sweet. I finally got some other good over trades, but I think this panda was trying to rip me off because I was a new jammer. No, hey, I just wasn't exactly willing to accept store items. Eventually I accepted one of their offers. It wasn't bad in the slightest. Um, someone started attacking me in the pillow room, like literally physically attacking me via roleplay. It was pretty funny, so I played along for a bit and it got pretty intense. And here's one of my fails. I buddied some fox earlier in the video, but I edited it out due to convenience. I tried to trade with them, but then their friend called me poor. They couldn't be seen talking to a peasant non-member, of course, so they hid behind me, and I defended their honor, but unfortunately, I didn't get a trade out of them. During this time, someone traded me a rare squid hat for my hamster, which I, of course, accepted. Here's another fail. I overall edited out my fails, but the ones I left in are just kind of funny. However, I did manage to trade my default den items for a night helmet. I negotiated in the pillow room for some time, and this bunny wanted my rear bow and arrow. When I asked if they wanted to offer, they traded me a black worn, which was absolutely crazy. By this point in the video, I was basically almost at the point where I had a spiked wrist's worth, but actually finding someone who was looking for black worns was a bit difficult. Finally, I traded my black worn for a short pink wrist. Like I said, this challenge only took me a few hours, and while not everyone gets lucky with trading, it goes to show that people are willing to trade nice items and that you don't need a scam to be rare. So now is the part of the video where I share my story time on getting scammed. So back in January, I won a red long for a giveaway, and I already had another red long, so I traded both of those longs for a solid. However, shortly after, someone came up to me saying that they were looking for an Animal Jam AJ flag or something like that, and that if I had one, they'd trade me a, a magenta headdress. I said I didn't have one, but they asked me to let them know if I found one. They claimed the flag was a new promo item, so I assumed that was why I hadn't seen anything about it. I didn't really bother looking up the item worth because I had no reason to if they were offering so much. I then continued trading, but someone wanted my literal best items, which were a green party hat, rare item Monday headdress, and a solid for that flag the other person was talking about. I had a really weird feeling about the whole thing, but I didn't really think that it could go wrong if the other person was planning to offer an overtrade for it. 
And I figured if it actually was a promo item or whatever, then it was still going to be a good trade to begin with. I didn't really bother looking up the worth because I figured why would they lie if another person also said the same thing. And I don't know, I was just, it was stupid. But basically, both of them, they ended up unbuddying me and they locked me out of their den and I was like, oh, that was like really weird. I hope nothing weird is happening. I still don't make the connection in my head. So I went to the other person's den and they unbuddied me too. I noticed they didn't have me buddied and I was just like, you're the same person, aren't you? And they locked me out. It was pretty sad, actually. I was pretty hurt by it because... I mean, a few of the items I won in giveaways and was really happy to get, and the other ones I, like, worked for. And so it just, it sucked. It it really, really sucked. Um, But, you know, I just want to say that if something feels like it's too good to be true, it probably is. And I just want to share my experiences and let you guys know not to get scammed. And if you feel like something is wrong please just trust your mind about that. Trust your intuition. You're probably correct. Even if you're not, it's just best to be on the safe side. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Goodbye.